want to uh, let's let's go to the curveball now, man. Like this, so obviously, like super. I'm 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 just appalled at, at this, dude. Like twenty eight oh nine RPMs on your on your curveball. Yeah, Guys, is it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. you're throwing it. Um, you're throwing it eighteen point seven percent of the time. The the average velo on it is eighty two point two. I mean, that's yeah. I can't throw a curveball sometimes over 70. <laughs> so that's the thing. I kind of banged the curveball. I didn't bang the curveball, but I started to fiddle around with like, so I would throw my curveball like this. And then I started throwing a slider. Like I saw this. that. I didn't know that. <laughs> Dude, but that was all I threw after. And so the slider is literally just a curveball, but harder. It does the exact same thing. It looks like on like reps out everything. It's the exact same pitch, but I throw it harder. And it breaks a lot sharper. The spin rate's a little higher on it too. So I, it I is, like, yeah. It's a I whole hundred RPMs higher. <laughs> yeah, I bang the curveball. I don't throw that anymore. Um, I was throwing it for strikes early in counts sometimes, but now I'm just fastball changeup slider, and I can throw like a get me over slider with this, and then like a punch out slider with this. So I hold it like this now, and I kind of I try to get like super extended, like I'm throwing it like a fastball, and I have like pretty good extension. So when I hit it, I just try to get it out here and like tug on it as hard as I can, and it's very like twelve six. So it's not really a slider, but it's like. 85 to 89. Yeah, so your I'm, slider, your your slider analytics are are 85 and a half miles an hour, uh, 2918 RPMs. It says you're throwing at 9.1 percent of the time, but like we said already, like those yeah, numbers. Yeah, they, they got like pretty screwed up with like, uh, because they look so similar, they mirrored each other pretty like identically. So I, it was just I was basically just throwing the slider when I got traded over. Do you know what hitters are hitting off your slider? Uh, I don't think so. No, what is it? 0.037. Oh, nice. That's that, good. <laughs> you, should bang, you should not throw that pitch, man. No, exactly what I'm saying. Right? I don't want to throw a curveball. I don't know. What are they hitting off the curveball? Uh, it says 233. Yeah, see? Bang it. There it is. There are the numbers right there. So there you really you don't you don't throw – like you you won't use that grip that you use. Because like, dude, when we played – like your, you were, your curveball was, was unreal. Uh, my pitch. It was – I just think – I started throwing that slider, and as I got more info on the rap soto, Snyder was like, "All right, listen, like those pitches are super identical. If you can just learn to throw the slider, just because you don't want to have like more pitches for no reason, just throw that. And it is too. Like if I'm trying to get me over slider, it'll be like 83. It's basically my curveball, but it just yeah. spins better. So I just change up my grip a bit. Uh, but it does the same thing as like kind of how it was. It just doesn't have as much as a hump anymore. It just comes, and I think that's why like the swing and miss rate was so good with that pitch because my tunneling with it was good. So it would always just kind of come off the same. There was no hump in it at all. And then that get me always would be a little hump, so I'd get no swings. Dude, that's good. that's another thing like people don't realize with the curveball. Like obviously it's it's a hot hot pitch these days, but like I think hitters see so well sometimes that they can notice like the pop of the hand. Yeah, for sure. Especially and I think up in too, the big leagues. What, yeah, and I think that's what even like Trevor would talk about a good amount of times. Like now that little pop in direction is almost you can play you can use that to your advantage because like no one's going to, when you were throwing a fastball slider on the same plane and nothing's coming up and I just want to steal a strike and the hitter sees the pop up. They just kind of look at it. He talked about and, that just recently. Yeah. yeah. He was saying like how he's trying yeah. to incorporate like a curveball at the very, very top of the zone. Yeah. So I would get, I had a bunch of strikeouts last year where my curveball is the top of the zone, not intentionally, but I would have times where I'd be like, <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> no, yeah. Totally intentionally. <laughs> Yeah. Like two one, I just need to steal a strike, and I hadn't thrown like a pop up curveball to the guy the whole game, and I would throw it, and it would just be like, what the? And yeah. it wouldn't even have to be nasty, but it would just come out of a different angle. And they're so like, yeah, consistent with their eye levels that like if you can screw with it at all and like throw some at the top of the zone, throw some down, like it just kind of gives them something else to think. Because typically, like when when a hitter perceives something as different, he's not going to engage. Yeah, it's like unfamiliar. You're like, well, I'm going to swing at that. I don't even know what it is. Right. And then, so you can steal a strike, and then now it's in the back of their head. It's just like a whole other game you can play. So are so, you going to – when you come into spring training in 2019, are you going to have that grip in the back pocket, or what, what do you think? No, so that's the thing. Like with that slider, if I do take a little bit off, like not trying to let up on it, but I can still – like I honestly just kind of aim it up more. Not aim it up, but I just try sights. to stop it at the top yeah, of the zone. You change so your can, sights. Exactly. Change my sights a little bit, and so it will come up a bit. So horseshoe here, yeah, and your fingers are are like are holding that, so it's almost crevice like. So, yeah, so it's right here, and I'm going. So my heater's on this side, so I just same grip. Well, I don't know. Heater's here, so it's on this side, and I hold it like this. So I have my fingers are kind of like linear on top. Oh, so of you it. feel that right. you feel that seam on that middle finger. Yeah, I try to hit both of them, and it's honestly, I just take it, and I kind of throw it like this, and I just try to get extended as I can. I just try to rip on the laces. So yeah. I think the lace 
like where my hands are on the laces is what helps me spin it a little more. And like here it's a good grip too, but I just don't really have like any like pressure on the laces like I do with that slider grip. So. I always said like, man, like when I, with my, I have like a cutter slider hybrid type deal. Yeah. And like, I literally like, if I'm throwing a four seam, I just kind of preset and just get yeah. comfortable within that seam with those crevice. And I don't yeah. change anything. Like I don't, yeah. I don't, I just don't feel like I have to drastic. I feel like with the curveball, it's a totally different. Like, okay, I'm holding it like this. Exactly. I have to yeah. lead with my here, and it's a, it's a totally yeah. different dynamic, right? I with think the, that's what kind of got me to XNA the curveball too, because it is such a different. I've always had a good feel for the curveball, but it was always like the more I can keep all three of my pitches like the same in terms of feeling, like the less things I can think about. So yeah, it just made it that much easier to where like I'm really only moving it over. Like it's basically a fastball grip, but I'm like it's just there like i'm just moving it there and i try to if i'm really trying to strike someone out too i just choke it like hard and most people say you don't do it but i just grip it so tight and i just try to throw it as hard as i can if that's so. your cue that's your cue it's funny dude because like when you're talking about your four seamer you're like i can't do the i can't do fingers closed and now we're talking about your slider and your fingers are closed when i do do fingers closed like this i cut my four seam so like this is something on the, that I'm way, trying yeah. to cut on the side so it's like if i'm here that is like inconsistent, but if I'm with a slider, I can. It doesn't matter if it comes out the side; I can just bury it. So, yeah, uh, dude. So your 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 slider, um, twenty nine eighteen RPMs. Dude, you're so close. To, you've probably thrown some sliders at three thousand. When I was at the Pirates, I would be able to go into oh, the Rays had it too. But I never really looked. I would go in and like look at my spin rates usually after games and stuff, and it would be like twenty seven to like thirty two hundred or whatever. Like <laughs> times are really like as hard as I can. That's crazy, dude. You're spinning the crap out of that thing. Because like twenty, <laughs> like twenty twenty two hundred is like the average fastball spinning, right? Like I think twenty. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fastball. I know that sliders and curveballs are obviously a little more. I don't know what the average spin rate for a slider or a curveball I should is. Know this, I think. Dude. It's, Gosh darn it! I don't know. I'm not sure. I guess it's. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the average is. I'm gonna have to freaking. I'm usually like a nerd when it comes to what's this your, stuff. What's your spin rate on your on your breaking ball? Dude, my so it's two different. So my I, threw, I started throwing a, like a hybrid curve. Like okay. not spike, oh yeah, yeah. Not spike. you were throwing that high though too, weren't you? You started. You, we would always like mess around with grips and stuff, but like, do you remember, I remember when I changed started, my arm angle and I started throwing yeah, mid nineties? Like six times, <laughs> we both and stuff like that. It was just like I don't feel good today. I'm gonna change everything. Yeah, like, that's I'm gonna throw a left handed today, man. Exactly, I'll change it all up. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Uh, but yeah, like so, my curveball is like very, very. If not average, it's below average spin. It does, doesn't. Like I said, dude, I throw literally like. It but actually you benefits. Angle, it's like a big 12 6 curve. I've Dude, seen it's the like video. 68 to 72. Like, but does it, uh, yeah, but it, I don't know the horizontal uh, break on it. I, I think it's probably an effective pitch, though. Like, that's your, it was, what's your go to strikeout pitch? That, right? No, actually, like, I, I, well, it depends, dude. Like, what month is it? You know, yeah, who are we exactly. playing? That's, that's, a, that's a very open end. What did I eat with. this day? You know, like, it all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it changes. Oh. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I mean, like that's uh, it's it's. Just, I just started throwing it. Honestly, like we talked about it earlier, but it's just a totally different look. Obviously, that goes yeah. into hand with like it being a totally different pitch, and it and it does. Uh, there is a process of of trying to like process all of your pitches and go. Okay, my cue on my four seam is you know this, and my because yeah. I'm a guy that th- I so I, when I started, I throw seven pitches. So it's like yeah, I do remember that you came over. You're like this one, this one, this one, this <laughs> one, this one. Like, right, okay. <laughs> and then yeah. uh, when you put your left hand down, I throw it left-handed. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah. but yeah, I just I think like again, like going back to that slider, it's just I don't want to say it's an easier pitch to throw, but it just it it takes a, all the complexity out of like a breaking pitch. And you as yeah, much as you can stay fastball, I think is you know especially with like you and I, the more we can keep things simple with our arsenal. Exactly. Say that too. Yeah, if there's any like young pitches that are like, should I do this? Should I do that? I can just be like, is it easier? If it is, do it. Like if like if it's if you can do it consistently easier, yeah. I think that's a probably pretty good call. Because yeah. oh, totally. long. What about your changeup? It says your changeup. You're throwing it at a at a whopping one point eight percent. Yeah, that's even shocking. That's like way too much. Um, <laughs> I'll throw it a bunch more. Like especially now that I'm like I have like a much better line. Like I threw it today. I had my bullpen today, and it was like feeling really good. That's a pitch I definitely think I'll need in the future just to have like a third look. Um, but I throw it like this because I got weird big old hands and I, I kind of bulk in it a bit. What are you I, like, doing do over there, man? Oh, dude. It really like – it depends. What is that? that? 
good. It's because I can't. My hands are just too awkwardly huge. I used to throw it like this, and that never really like felt weren't you, good. Weren't you playing it, with hey, like a Scott split? Mitchell, the pirate could show me that. Yeah, I tried that, and I just like for me a split works well when I'm like linear. But I guess. For that too, I always hear like, "Oh, it's bad on your elbow," but like, who does anyone really know? Is, no, because we thought curveballs were bad for our elbows, and now drivelines debunking that. Yeah. But I've been doing this for the past like couple years, and I've, this has been feeling really good lately. Um, Scott Mitchell, the dude, obviously person we know on the Pirates, who showed me this like two years ago, and I've just stuck with it ever since. And, what are you doing I mean, with I'm, the connection here, like with your index and your thumb? I just try. I kind of. T- I just keep them here. Like I just like touch them. I just want them to be connected. I just want to feel it like come off of these two fingers. I want to like just as even as I can get them. And I want to. I almost feel like too when they are good. I try to get them to like. I just. I almost like put it in his glove. You know what I mean? Like you're extending it. And it takes I think some, you actually physically out. can put it in his glove. Yeah, exactly. Do you know you're like? <laughs> do you do you know your extension? Yeah, my, I know my extension's super high. It was like seven something, but I know, when I'm good, it's a little lower. Like if my extension's like eight feet, I'm it's bad. I'm throwing like ninety three, and I'm all over the place. But when it's like seven, I don't know, three to seven six, it's like when it's in that like it's still high, but when it's in that ground, that's when I'm like getting good like heel toe connection rather than me being like super late and in, in front. Because when I had like really. When I was super extended, it was just because I was breaking late and I was so forward. My hand had to catch up and I was just like dragging it we, forward. Remember so. we, I remember specifically that year in 14, man, we had a conversation about like delaying separation. Remember how like yeah. we, we kind of talked about that, how like there's some benefits to delaying the separation because not only does your yeah. arm, it forces your arm to go faster, but you're also like, that's, I think that was the reason why you were cutting it too, but it was like, it's nasty. Yeah, yeah for, that's the thing though. Like, I think like you can have delayed separation if you stay back. But for me, I had such late hands and I was drifting forward because I was so weak in my lower half that like I was just cutting it because I was so here and the only thing I could do was like cut it into the strike zone. And uh, I and think too, we would always look at like yeah. Kurt Holt and like you would always see him like break his hands super late, but he has like lightning fast hands. So totally, dude. And we were always told too with like the break at the top, break at the top, and that never was my thing. I could never do that. So yeah, I guess it just kind of is all fun. I don't know, but yeah, I just think it's way back. It's the biggest thing for me. 